let's get started with fashion and I'm just going to tell you right off the bat I am so lazy when it comes to fashion camping. I just like wearing you know a comfy t-shirt maybe from school and then usually some dry fits or some type of shorts if during the day and also flip flops or my tennis shoes. So if it's a little colder out, like maybe in the mornings or at night around the bonfire, I like wearing leggings under my dry fits or just the leggings by themselves. And then a sweatshirt or hoodie or light jacket over a t-shirt. And yeah, so as you can see, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to fashion um, or makeup or anything like that. But let's go ahead and get on to the makeup, the very little that I wear while camping. Keeping it simple, I like to skip foundation and just go to concealer. This is the NYX Waterproof Concealer and even if you're not going someplace where there's water while camping, it is still a really nice and thick yet creamy concealer to just apply on blemishes or under your eyes because I like using multi-use products when going anywhere other than my house. I like using powder just to set that and sort of even out the skin tone a little bit more. This is my MAC MSFN and I just lightly dust this over my face. Uh, just helps keep matte, set the concealer and even out the skin tone a little bit. In the fall, I love using my Benetint from Benefit because it gives the most gorgeous rosy glow. Sort of the look that you get while camping, just like the nice flushed from the cold air look, but I still like applying it anyway, even if I'm camping. Just to the cheeks a little, and then you can also apply it to the lips. And then just make sure to blend and sort of blend up to the temples. And I also like taking a little bit of powder just to sort of blend that in with the rest of my face. Then I usually just like using some mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. So I'm first gonna take the top wand for the upper lashes and just apply this like you normally would mascara to the upper lashes. And then taking the bottom wand, I'm actually not gonna use this for my lower lashes because I just feel like that's a little too much while camping. But I am gonna sort of just lightly smudge it across my eyelid um, right where my eyelashes are there and then it just sort of gives the illusion of a little bit of eyeliner. Then onto my baby lips. This is the Baby Lips Electro in Berry Balm I believe and this just gives a nice purple tint to your lips but you don't look sick or like anything like that. I think it's just a nice little color for the fall. Now for just some really easy and quick hairstyles, get your hair out of your face um, because you know when camping you're doing a lot of stuff. So I first usually will just brush out my hair and then I love taking argan oil. It is just a nice natural oil to apply to your hair. You can apply it when it's wet or when it's dry. Here I'm going to be applying it dry to my hair and when you apply it dry it just helps with frizz, gives it a little bit more shine and it makes your hair a lot easier to work with, especially if it's not completely clean from camping, you know. Then I'm just taking a little clip and basically pulling my sides back and clipping my hair in. Really simple and easy, but I just thought I'd show this since I do it a lot, just sort of like when I'm hanging around the campsite. Next, I am going to show you a braid that I do. It is basically where you're going to take a section of hair, like as big as you would when you divide your hair into three sections, and you're just going to braid this. So it is going to be, I don't, I think there's a specific name for this, but it's basically where you braid your hair with a braid in it. So you're just going to braid that down regularly and then divide the rest of your hair into two sections. So you have three sections having the braid as one of the sections and then you're just going to braid like you usually would using that braid. And as you can see, the braid just sort of peeks through a little bit um, and it's just a really something extra. I like doing braids when I'm out and about, but it just gives it a little something extra having the braid in it and it doesn't take that much longer. As you probably saw in the beginning of the video, I love wearing bandanas while camping. It just gets your hair out of your face and it can look really cute too. So how I do bandanas is you just take it and fold it in half and then just sort of roll it down a little bit so that it becomes like a straight line I guess as you'll see in a second. Just like that and then you can just put it under your hair however you're going to be styling your hair. You just put it under your head and then take it to the top of your head and tie a knot in the little corner or you can do it straight on or just place it and tie a knot and it's that simple so cute you could get bandanas at like Walmart for a dollar 
and you can leave it down or I like putting it into a ponytail and having the bandana in or you can do the braid we just did and put the bandana in as well. So that is all for hair. Now let's move on to just essentials. So first, I think you always need a light or a lamp or a flashlight of some sort because when it gets dark and you want to go on a walk, you need a light. And then don't bring any fragrance, just bring bug spray. They also have bug spray candles that you can light sort of while you're hanging around, but believe me, don't wear any perfume or body mist, splash, anything. They'll eat you alive. And then, now let's get on to my favorite food, which I think is everyone's favorite food while camping, and that is s'mores. You'll need just some marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers, but to make the most amazing s'more ever you are going to also need some oreos or you can use like homemade chocolate chip cookies or taylor puts brownies in hers you know just mix it up use something fun so first you're going to put the marshmallow on a stick then roast it over the fire i hopefully we all know how to do this but if not this is how you do it and then you're just going to get it how you want so whether you like it just a little bit warm or really gooey or burnt i personally like mine in between burnt and then gooey so if it catches on fire just blow it out and then that's perfect right there so now I am going to show you how to make it so take your marshmallow however roasted or unroasted you like it and then you're going to take your graham cracker with a chunk of chocolate however much you like and then you're gonna take your marshmallow and simply push it onto the chocolate be careful because it still may be hot then you're gonna take half of the Oreo and so you're gonna just pull apart the Oreo and I like using the side with the icing because that's just how I am and then I'm gonna take uh, the other part of the graham cracker and push it down as hard as you can and get it all gooey and mushy and melted and it's uh, heaven in your mouth so that is all for this camping video I hope you guys enjoy tell me below if you like camping or if you ever been camping and I will see you all in my next video which will be up on Saturday and FYI I think it's a Halloween tutorial, so leave me requests for more Halloween tutorials below, and I will see you then. Bye!